All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the Outdoorsman's Garage YouTube channel. <laughs> As I dropped Timmy off at school, I noticed this morning that uh, I got a check engine light on, and it's come on a couple of times and went off a couple of times. Uh, I think I know what it is. I think it's the O2 sensors. Um, I can't remember which. Uh, I think it was bank one that I changed uh, last year. I didn't ever change bank two. I probably should have changed them, but I don't know. I don't, I don't like to just throw parts at cars just for nothing. You know what I mean? I don't, unless they go bad. I don't like to put new shit on cars unless I got bad parts to uh, replace. So, we're gonna see exactly what is going on with that. So like I said, I think it's an O2 sensor. Um, I mean, I did see yesterday something about uh, uh, checking the, checking the, the, the uh, fuel cap. I never did. So <laughs> maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. I, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, uh, as soon as I get back to the house, we're going to uh, get my code reader and uh, we're going to check that out. And uh, we'll get this review of this code reader out of the way. All right, guys. So stand by. All right, so let's get this thing plugged in and we'll see what's going on with it. Now this code reader has a lot more function than uh, the other one or the last one I just reviewed. Um, the last one was just, it just told you the codes and you could erase them if you wanted to. And this one has a bunch of different stuff. So, I mean, you can look at your diagnostic charts and your your codes and there's all kinds of different things that this thing does. Um, let's, uh, let's go to codes because this thing was kind enough to have a check engine light this morning. I think I know kind of what the issue is. Um, I have issues with the gas cap on this thing. I put a locking gas cap on it and uh, this truck doesn't like that gas cap, but I didn't put the gas cap or that locking gas cap on there for any other reason other than, you know, just a little bit of extra time. And what I mean by that is it's not going to prevent somebody from stealing my gas. It'll give me a little bit of extra time to uh, get to them and uh, teach them that they came to the wrong house. Anyway, uh, let's see what's going on uh, with these codes. I did have a problem with um, O2 sensors when I first bought this thing. Uh, let's see, what do we got? This is four codes. Let's read the codes and see what's going on. This one here, this P014A, I think that's uh, um, maybe a thermostat code. Um, I just replaced the, uh, the radiator in this thing, actually, uh, on Saturday. Today's Monday. So... I mean, that it could be that. What the hell is this one here? O2 sensor. See, that's what I'm saying. O2 sensor. Yeah. This one could be the gas cap. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I, I'm going to, you know, do what I can to... Uh, fix the problems of course but I'm not really worried about any of these because all of these are pretty easy fixes 
but anyway, you can erase the codes, you can do a view freeze frame thing, you can do the readiness, there's all kinds of different stuff, the data stream, vehicle info, you know, oops, what am I doing here? Oh, oh yeah but anyway yeah I think this little code reader works just you know just fine for me um, I have a friend of mine who is a mechanic um, he works for uh, an organization called uh, vets for veterans he's a Marine Corps veteran and what he does is he's a mechanic he works on uh, other vets cars to kind of help them out and uh, to kind of give them a break on the, the cost of, of the repairs and stuff. His, I know, oh, here comes the cops. That's just great. Um, his code reader, I think, is a snap-on. Um, you know, I'm not in a name brand. I'm, I'm not a, a name brand fanboy. You know, it is what it is. What, whatever one works for me. I bought this one because it was cheap. It's $21 on Amazon. It works good. It does the job. I don't need anything fancy. So, it is what it is. But, I mean, all in all, I, I think it's a really good unit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd look into it. If you don't have one, look into it. See what you think. But, anyway. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope it was informative. Um, I hope you guys check out that uh, that code reader. Um, I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We love it. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>